Welcome back everyone. You may be having an issue with your iPhone where for some reason it's just not vibrating when you're getting a notification. Now the first thing you want to do and the first thing you want to check is to make sure you're able to see those notifications in the first place. So what I would recommend doing is go ahead and going into your settings. You want to scroll down into notifications and you pretty much just want to double and triple check that the notification that you're wanting is enabled. So in this case, let's say we want to get notified by people on Instagram. Well, we'll go ahead and click on our Instagram right here and you want to make sure you allow notifications and you want to make sure that all these are checked on whichever way you want to. But specifically where it says sounds, you want to go ahead and make sure sounds is enabled. You may want to go ahead and enable badges as well, but you just want to go ahead and enable sounds. Now, what you also want to do is go back into your main settings page here. You want to click sounds and haptics, which is right here. And you also want to make sure where it says vibrate on silent and vibrate on ring. You want to make sure those options are enabled. Now it may ring your phone and vibrate your phone if you have, you know, a silent mode on and you're getting a phone call. So just keep that in mind. But if you want to get vibrated on those specific notifications, that's exactly what you want to do. Now, 99.99% of you watching this, that's really all you have to do. You are pretty much good to go. And that's really all you had to do. Now, if that doesn't work, the thing that we'll probably end up having to do is you're going to have to go into each individual applications that we just talked about. So each individual apps you'll have to pretty much go into and you'll have to pretty much enable the vibration or, you know, your ringtone or whatever. You want to go ahead and enable those within each application. So again, it's kind of an annoyance, but that's the only other thing you can do. You can also try restarting your iPhone. You can also try updating your iPhone. So make your way back into your settings panel like this. You want to go into general, which is right down here. You want to click software update, and you just want to go ahead and update your iPhone, and that could be another way that'll fix it as well. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.